So the topic I wanted to cover today is speed limits. Namely, why they are what they are. I don't think a lot of people understand where those numbers came from. Most of them have been around for, for years, decades, 25 years, 50 years or more. And they've just never been updated. And speed limits are set by the owner of the road usually. So on an interstate like this, it's gonna be the state DOT with input from Federal Highway Administration on your local country two-lane roads. Those are usually state roads as well. Those are usually set by the state DOT. And then your, your urban arterials and your local streets, residential areas, those are usually, usually set by the town or the city that you live in. So that's where those numbers come from. They've just, they've just never been updated through the years. Cars made more than 20 years ago were not nearly as good as they are today. The suspensions were sloppy, the steering was sloppy, the brakes were terrible, didn't have much power, and you couldn't drive safely and comfortably all that fast. Cars made before the 80s had drum brakes, carburetors, no fuel injection, the steering was hard, and the suspension couldn't couldn't take uh, high-speed travel and cruise all that well. And as cars have gotten better and better over the years through the decades, people have become more and more comfortable going faster and faster. And that's why we see most people pretty much ignoring the speed limit. And most places, I think, have a de facto speed limit where people know they're not gonna get hassled by the police if they're going say 10 miles an hour over because so many people are doing it it's just it's ludicrous to pull everybody over so why not just make the speed limit something reasonable well because if you try doing anything like that the minority of people that are doing the speed limit are going to come out of the woodwork and cite all kinds of statistics and it's going to be doom and gloom and everyone's going to die and this and that and anytime you bring stuff like that up to a bunch of legislators they're not going to go for it so the speed limits just stay the same year after year decade after decade now they're supposed to be set at the 85th percentile which means 85% of the people on the road are supposed to be going at the speed limit or below. So only 15% of the people are supposed to be traveling above the speed limit. But the fact is, on a highway like this, at least 50% where I live, at least 50% are over the speed limit. Probably 75. So I think it's just time to think about adjusting the speed limits to something reasonable now I'm not saying everybody should be speeding all the time obviously we need to be safe and especially local roads you need to be able to live on your street and not worry about getting hit by the cars and kids are playing out on rural uh, on uh, local streets and residential areas I, I'm not saying speed on those kind of roads, but out here on the interstates, I think it's 65 miles an hour right here where I am, and nobody's doing 65. Unless traffic is really backed up. Even, even police officers on duty in their squad cars aren't doing the speed limit because they know if, they, if they'd be doing 65 on the highway right now, they'd be just holding everything up. They'd be just annoying everybody around them so even even the police don't do the speed limit anymore and I'll tell you another thing if I am if I am speeding if I'm doing 15 miles an hour over the speed limit 
I'm not paying 100% attention to the road. I'm more likely to crash because I got one eye looking at the, the side of the road for cops lurking in the trees than I do looking at the road. So I'm more worried about crashing. I'm sorry, I'm more worried about getting busted by the cops than I am of crashing and that's not uh, that's not a good scenario. You shouldn't, uh, you should be paying attention to, you should be giving your full attention to the road, not worrying about getting pulled over. That's, uh, I think that's my spiel for today. You can agree or disagree. I'm sure plenty of people have their own opinion on the subject. And uh, you can let me know what you think.